So, welcome back to the stream. Um, I finished up Dark Souls 3 uh, last time. I actually found that I had done all the content, like I was looking for any more content uh, at all. I found all of the bonfires except one. I fought all the bosses. I did everything, everything in the DLC and everything in the game. Um, so in my spare time, I'm just kind of grinding out all the Covenant stuff for the achievements now. So yeah, we'll move on in the stream to bigger and better things. I have a long stream queue to get through. And this has been a game that I've been waiting for a long time and waiting to play for a long time. Um, this is Inside, the sequel to Limbo. Limbo is one of the first Neon games that I played. I played it pretty shortly after it came out and then spread it to a whole bunch of different people and got them to play it. And we've all been kind of waiting for a sequel for a long time. And then this came out like, I think it came out like a year ago. It's been a while. Like it came out a little while ago and I've only just now kind of gotten a hold of it and gotten a chance to play it. So this is the Limbo, the long awaited Limbo sequel. Um, you can see I just kind of booted up the game, and then this is the screen that I'm met with after the title screen. There's been no content so far. Um, three button controls: joystick, jump, and grab. Same as same as Limbo, and very much that dark style, with the exception that we have a kind of full, full colored character instead of just like a blurred kind of black nothing kind of little little sprite and already um, that's interesting I, I like that opening so the opening the opening kind of implied to us that this was going to be the same game as Limbo that this was going to look the same because Limbo purely takes place in like a forest with like a bunch of electronic shit in a factory but this is this is the real world actually got like other people and like cars i mean limbo had other people but this takes place in society it looks like which is i like the twist and i i like the the way the intro led you to believe that it was just limbo too it was just more limbo oh i assume you're not supposed to be caught Was people wearing masks? Yeah, the people are much more reactive now too. Like they react to small sounds and, and things. God, I'm loving this. This is fucking cool. Oh, don't let it fall on you. Yeah, already I'm I'm loving this. Like it's got so much of that old limbo style, but they they really up the ante into a new game instead of just more of the old shit that they were doing before. So I'm really excited to see where they go with this story wise. I'm fucking stoked to play. I've heard it's a short game, like quite short. I don't know if it's a three hour game or six or, or even twelve, but I think it's probably closer to three hours. Um, depending on if you get stuck on the puzzles or not. But I played Limbo uh, quite recently. Uh, I've replayed it, so I kind of understand the basic Limbo puzzles. Um, so for me, it will be like how complicated the puzzles get and, and the new mechanics that they use, because I won't be familiar with the new stuff, but I'm, I'm quite familiar with all the old mechanics. I wonder if they're like looking for me, like they know I'm out here and I'm lost. Oh shit. That's not good. Fuck off, puppy. Whew. Oh, nice. I'm holding the grab button. I don't know if that made a difference. I feel like they're definitely, they've got to be looking for me. Because why else would they be out here just walking around the forest with fucking flashlights and shit? Is that tires or is that rain? No, that's tires. That's a car on the road. Oh, fuck. Go, 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 go. God, I love this. This is such a fucking excellent extension of the first Limbo. This is great. Getting an appropriate sequel to a game that you loved when it came out and by appropriate I mean that they they took the base game and they evolved it without changing it into something completely different which is how you're supposed to do a sequel 
feel like I'm going to be caught here. So there's no way I can get in front of that without uh, being seen. I wonder if there's anything I can drag with me. As though like a fridge being dragged in front of the car would be less conspicuous than just running. I feel like I have to run and they're going to chase me. Yeah, get going. Is that a kid? That's, looks like another kid. Okay. So being caught definitely is a loss condition. Which I figured. So how the fuck do I get through this water? Okay, so I just tripped on that log. It's kind of dumb. Oh, shit. They shot and fucking killed me. Okay, so jump over logs on the ground because you will trip over them. Okay. Fuck off! That was weird. He didn't shoot me, he just started running after me. Do you mind? Jesus Christ, they're out for fucking blood. Yeah, I feel like I... Definitely getting like a Stranger Things vibe, like I'm some specimen. That was bold. Easily could have fucking died there. Yeah, like I'm some fucking escaped lab specimen that they're trying to get back a hold of. I can swim now, so that's nice. I don't just fucking instantly drown like an idiot. Though it looks like there's... There's down. Okay, so there is a dive button. Nice. I wonder how soon I drown. Interesting. little secret area. Um, I'm looking for achievements, basically. Like, extra extra content and achievements. I do not have the jump to get to whatever the fuck that is, but that looks really cool. Lab tech equipment. Oh, I was trying to push on this, and it wasn't letting me. There's a physics engine at work. Nice. Actually, like a real physics engine. What the fuck is that? Murky waters. Okay, so much like Limbo, the achievements look to be just discovery based. In Limbo, they were eggs that you break. In this one, they're like little machines. So this is teaching me physics and also diving mechanics. The fact that you can dive, that you can drown, that you need to dive. I'm curious as to how long I can go underwater. God, I feel so vulnerable out here. Please don't get hit by a fucking car. He's going, and he's determined to get away, get wherever he's going. Nice. Feeling a little less vulnerable now. I've got some cover. Gotta love the aesthetic of these games. F frogs? Mice? Look like mice. Are you guys actually... Do you do anything? Okay. The frogs in Limbo, you have to chase it to the machines and stuff, so... Might be that mechanic coming back, or it might be just environmental. It's a fucking lot of them. It's kind of hard to tell from here. Holy fuck, you guys. Like, can I help you? <laughs> I feel like they're going to kill me. Are they chickens? They don't sound like mice. They sound like, like chicks, baby chicks. <laughs> Cute.
character's much more expressive now too like when you press up against a wall he'll actually like press his hands and face up against it kind of thing a bunch of random baby chickens ooh I found an axe I feel like I'm going to need this oh it's not an axe it's a lever Durr. look like an axe leaning up against a log kind of feel like I shouldn't do this but chickens Run in, buds. Oh, please don't kill all the chickens with your giant machine. That would be a really shitty thing to do. Nice. Loving the new mechanics. Cool. That's great. That's totally new to pull start and an engine like that. Okay, so I feel like I have to push that hay bale off, so... Oh. A bunch of the chicks... Oh, they went inside the machine there. Is that how they did it? I don't know how they got in the machine, but they did, and it blew them over. How the fuck did you guys get up there? Anyway, that's the solution to the puzzle, was to open the door, let them in, and somehow they get in the machine and you blow them over. And I'm keeping my eye out for those secrets too, but I'm not I'm not seeing any more yet. Okay, there's a pile of something I feel like I have to land on. Is that bodies? That is dead pigs? Dead sheep? Creepy. Oh, do I have to fuck with the bodies? Might not be bodies, but like it's impossible to see, which is the point. Yeah. Looks like worms sticking out of dead pigs. Charming. <laughs> 